Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. We have the Devil May Cry official teaser that just dropped at Netflix Geek Week that's happening right now. Some sort of live event. I'm glad I'm not watching it live because it seems like they're just doing a bunch of games and stuff and padding out the runtime because they have like an audience there. I'm like, just drop the trailers, just announce the shit. Who cares? <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited for this. Now, I don't remember. I think there was a Devil May Cry anime or some sort of anime thing like a, a long time ago. I'm trying to remember because... I remember, I thought I saw something about it, so maybe I, maybe I'm not crazy, maybe there actually was something back then, but the fact that they're doing this, like, this is amazing, another, like, cause I think there was one before, but Devil May Cry and, as an animated show, it makes a lot of sense, I cannot wait to see, I think there was, like, footage or something they dropped, or some sort of, like, small little teaser, but I'm excited to see a full-fledged official teaser for this, so let's dive tonight, guys, let's check it out, let's go, stop a wasting the time. <laughs> Oh. Okay. The way he moves. The hits he took. Oh shit. Alright. His name is Dante. Mm -hmm. What kind of work do you do exactly? Demon hunting. Okay. I'm liking the look of it. Nice. Yeah, I'm. Oh, I, I'm liking the look of it for sure. Let's dance. All right. The gates of hell will be open soon. Hmm. Hope to see you all there. So we got a little bit of ways, a little bit of ways before it comes out, but okay. Okay. Uh, I'd say it looks pretty damn good. I'm liking the animation style. Uh, I'm excited to see what all this entails. And normally with animated shows, especially through Netflix now, it seems that when a show is like coming, if they're if they're plans for more than because sometimes there's, there's limited series and all that kind of stuff. But a lot of the times, because I'm thinking uh, Dota Dragons. Um, the, the Dota Dragon show, um, was it Dragon, not Dragon, I forget what the, the, the title fully was, but the Dota Dragon, like the Dota show they had, which was really good, when they announced that show, it was three seasons, and they just split it up, of course, you know, everything, but they were all like kind of greenlit at the same time, so I'm wondering if Devil May Cry is a situation where, with Netflix animation, where it's multiple seasons at once, or they already have two, like seasons one and two in production, and this is just season one, and we'll get season two later, or if it's to where we're going to wait to see how season one does, and then we'll see about picking the show up. Because animation and everything, and all the, like, from pre-production all the way to post and getting episodes done and everything, getting a season like completely done, takes a lot of time. So I wonder if they've already planned ahead and have, say, season two of Devil May Cry already in production and being worked on. So that the release window between season one and potentially season two is not too far apart. Because I'm liking what I'm saying. Doesn't mean the show's gonna be great, but I would love, you know, I would love to see if they could do more, even though I've not even seen season one yet, because there's a lot of potential story and things they can do. And the hope is that this is good enough that we would get a season two, but the fear is also that it's it's great, but they just don't move forward. Because that happens all the time with Netflix, unfortunately, is that we get shows that are that are, you know, drop season one and we or at least season one or two and then we're like okay we're gonna get more right and Netflix like no because we're not getting enough new uh people to warrant continuing the product like we're not getting enough new people to subscribe to justify making it even though wouldn't you want to continue shows that help keep like people on the service to keep paying because if you keep cutting and you know canceling shows that are netflix originals that people are subscribed and are enjoying, then they may drop the program, they, they program drop the streaming service because why continue when you're just canceling all the shit they want to watch? So it's a double-edged sword there, but literally, I'm liking what I'm saying. What do you guys think of the first official teaser for Devil May Cry? Whatever thoughts you have, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.